again. There is no one here yet. So I shall carry on rambling to myself for just a moment because this is a different time than usual for learning letters. Usually we are at 11 a.m. Eastern and today we are at 3 p.m. Eastern. So it's possible no one is here yet. Attila, hello. Hello, Steve. I can wave to you guys. Look, I can wave. Hello, amazing. Okay. Um, well, I know that you are all familiar with learning letters. So I don't really need to give you the learning letter sh spiel, but shall we get cracking anyways? I expect that everyone is going to be confused like everyone else because usually it's bright and early in the morning. Today we are not. It's been a very eventful day, uh, sort of. Now I'm thinking these pens are all inked with the same inks that I've been using for the last few weeks. And I think I'm going to clean them out and put in something fun and new because I'm getting I'm not bored of the inks, but I don't know. Blue black is kind of blah, blah ish. You are pumped to learn the letter I excellent. I'm glad because I actually really like this one. It's kind of, it's like too close to a J, but you know, it's, you know, it's nice. So let's start with like the old English style, which is really cool looking. And as usual, I'm using my trusty Pilot Parallel. Oh, that was off screen, 2.4 millimeter. So I keep the nib at an angle. This is the angle I use. I think, you know, it really depends on the size of your nib. Some people use a smaller angle, like a, a sharper angle, but I'm gonna go with this one. And instead of rambling forever, I'm just gonna draw it. Give it a tail, bring it down. Give it a small uh, butt swoosh, as I like to say, because if it goes out too far, you're gonna get a J. And then I use the edge to add just a little bit of a line, some small flourishing. Now that's one option. Another one you could do is, same thing, little butt swoosh, but instead give it dragon spikes. Ooh. Now, of course, this is my favorite, obviously. So if we wanted to do that, you know, I actually have, hold that thought. I have a 3.8 millimeter here. Let's do this one because um, it's really cool. Now, it looks cooler the bigger it is, I think. The ink in this one is the ink from Tuesday's Inspiration, which is Rover und Klingner Alt Gold Grün. So, actually, I should have drawn that one first, but since I didn't, I'm going to have to put it in like that. That's quite all right. That's the joy of learning letters. I am learning as well. Now, this is a hat swoosh. Now, you don't have to do this. I just think it's fun to, to do stuff like this, you know? This is an arrow. It's just fun. Hello, Annabelle! Sorry, I wasn't looking at my screen for a second there, so I missed whoever has joined. Okay, let's do that one again. It looks way more complicated than it is because if you break it down into the steps, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. Dinosaur spikes, a hat swoosh, not a butt swoosh. You can even leave it like that. Uh, it looks a bit too much like a J, doesn't it? Let's make it a little more eye-ish. Is that more eye-ish? Not really. Yeah, that's eye-ish. So, I think the arrows are so fun. Like, it's just such a fun flourish. I've also seen where um, you just do like a little like a an anchor at the bottom and like you know like a guard's spear at the top it's so cool it's it's just i don't know it's really fun top of the morning to you janine oh my goodness you guys are tuning in from uh well, let me think what are you guys six hours ahead now or seven hours oh my goodness you should all be in bed that's like my bedtime okay so i think that's just wicked okay I don't usually do this on learning letters, but I'm going to do this this time. I don't know how this is going to look because I'm not sure how these inks will blend, but let me do, let me try this and see, we'll see how it actually turns out. Uh, 
Okay. Now this is often what I do if I'm just playing with pens and inks and as I've said, oh, sorry, I made a boo-boo there. As I've said before, I am obsessed with Pilot Parallels because they are so versatile, they are so fun. Let's do this. I'm not too sure these two colors work so well together, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. There we go. So we'll leave that to dry. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, you should break out your parallels. It's so good, they're so awesome. Okay, Janine has pizza, I'm coming over. <laughs> coming over to have the pizza too. Okay, just we'll just leave that to dry and we'll see how it looks in a minute. Um, okay, let's put these parallels away for a second. I have, um, I have a one full set of parallels and I have an extra two six millimeters and I still feel like I need more so I'm not really sane so okay next up we have the sailor music stub nib this one's really nice because it's it's really usable for anyone you know like if you're not really into calligraphy or you just want to do some writing it's pretty comfortable for just about anyone so here's just a normal eye just a cursive eye just a capital I Easy peasy. Just throwing those in there for fun. Next up, we can use the Lamy Safari. I like to use this one for a bit of an italic eye, except that should be a bit at an angle. So there we go. This is the 1.1 millimeter nib. It's quite nice if you want just a bit more line variation than the Sailor Music stub nib. Just a little sharper. So... Um, okay, let me think here. Okay, let's go with the the Metal Falcon. This is still drying, still blending. We'll take a look at it in a second. This is the um, Soft Fine nib. So I like it for the variation. Now, if we wanted to do like a modern calligraphy eye, I would drag it out, stretch it out, sort of like this one here. Isn't it cool? It's it's like turning into an orange. It's a bit feathery because I, that was a serious ink blob on there. But um, I think they're so fun. And it doesn't really look like alt gold grün anymore. Now it's like alt gold grün uh, orangey. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's not the right one. I will absolutely bring the Sailor Music Nib to the meet and greet. I, will, I have two of them, so I'll bring both. Um, two different sizes, so. Um, okay, so that's like the modern calligraphy eye that I like to do. And then you can also do just like a standard cursive eye, but who wants that? No one wants standard. Nobody wants standard business. We want fun. So when I do this kind of stuff, like I just I just make a big swooshy mess and it's it's really fun. I Let's do hello, even though there's no eye in it. Um... You know, it's just, it's really fun to experiment with and play around with. Um, hello! More, instead of a hello, but of a hello! That's weird. Okay. So, can always have fun with this one. And then we have the trusty Pilot Metropolitan. Just the standard 1.0 millimeter calligraphy nib. Not too crisp. You can kind of hear it's it's quite nice. And um, what did I have this one? Oh, I had this one for like a gothic style a bit. So let's do, it's really tiny. So just try to make it tidy. Wow, that was hideous. So hideous. But that's okay. It's always a fun work in progress. You can also use this one for your modern calligraphy swoosh. You'll get some nice line variation there as well. Ooh, he's fascinated with my letters. Oh my goodness, maybe we have a budding calligrapher. 
So that's how the, the blending one came out. That is why I really, really love the parallels. It's just so much fun. It looks really cool. Let's see what we did. There's no space on the back side here. Okay. I'm going to move on to the next page. It's still a bit wet, so. Um, which one? Was the Metropolitan Pilot? This one down here? This is the Pilot Metropolitan. Yes. In turquoise. Sorry about the shadows. It does not... I don't... You know, I have two really bright lights right over this, and it should be nice and bright, but... Um, Metropolitan. I will post a blog post with this video afterwards, and it'll include links to all the pens that I use. You can always check it out if you want to browse the web shop and pick yourself up a pen. So, okay, so we've done letter I, we've done A, B, C. Because um, I was starting to think, like, what am I going to do when we have used up our entire alphabet? So I think I'm just going to have to mess around and play around with words and letters and the whatnots. So I'm thinking, last but not least, if we swap the ink order, let's do... I don't know if it's going to be too green. Just giving it a quick dab. Just a really quick one. Two little dinosaur spikes. And a swoosh hat. So you can always modulate how much you want to add. Uh, is this the Plumix nib in the Metro? This one is actually the Metro nib. It does now come in a in a calligraphy, like it's called calligraphy medium. Uh, there we go. But it, it's a 1.0 millimeter. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, I know that they are interchangeable and I'm pretty sure if you have a Plumix, you can put it on here. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure if it's the same nib, but I'm, pretty sure it's the same nib same uh width and everything so learn japanese lettering oh my goodness that would be hilarious i already butcher this that would be really sad yes i agree the metropolitan even with the fine nib i tend to prefer broader nibs but with the fine nib it's it's really nice i have a purple one as well and it has a, a medium on it and i really like it so I guess that that's pretty much it for my my eye this week. Let's take a look at that drawing one. I don't know why I put those all in here. That was stupid. There we go. So whereas this one, as Annabelle said, was more of a it was bronze with patina, I believe she said, and um, and then this one is definitely more of a brownish orange. It came out pretty cool. They're really fun to experiment with. I have this one eyedroppered, so I just like to mess around with it and play. So there we go. Um, that concludes this week's exciting learning letters. Hopefully you did learn something. Hopefully it was just fun. Um, thank you all so much for joining. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you next week for inspiration. Bye-bye.